What's up guys and welcome to the second transfer video of today and in this video we're gonna talk about Lucas Hernandez, the center back, the most expensive signing of Bayern Munich last summer in the history of Bayern Munich for 80 million euros. Newcastle wants to sign him but it is extremely unlikely that he will leave Bayern Munich for Newcastle. Also on the news we have Pogba, Minu Raiola have started talks with Juventus for the signature of Paul Pogba this summer. And also on the news we have the Bundesliga, Jadon Sancho, Borussia Dortmund winger. Bayern Munich is trying to sign another top player from Borussia Dortmund and this time is Jadon Sancho. So guys, check all of the news and much more next in the video. Don't forget to leave a like, let's try to hit in the second video. Again, 400 likes, so smash that like button guys, I know you can do it and uh, enjoy the video guys, let's go! Okay guys, we're gonna start the second video with Kai Havertz was unwilling to risk ruining his time at Bayer Leverkusen by discussing speculation surrounding his future. Bayern Munich, Liverpool, Barcelona and Juventus are among the clubs to have been linked with the move for German international Havertz, who Leverkusen have made clear they will be unwilling to sell for anything less than 100 million euros. Barcelona are keeping close tabs on Seville prospect Diego Fernandez Talaveron, reports Mundo Deportivo. The 18-year-old striker has scored 22 goals in as many matches for the Juvenile B Youth Division this season, attracting attention from Camp Nou as well as Real Madrid and Ajax. Loris Karius is being targeted by Ertad Berlin who would like to bring the Liverpool goalkeeper to the Bundesliga. Karius most recently featured for Fenerbahce and has not played a competitive match for Liverpool since that infamous Champions League final loss to Real Madrid. Hagnik has not officially been hired by AC Milan but he has set his sights on a signing. According to Milan's news, Hagnik wants to bring Leipzig midfielder Sabitzer with him to Serie A, however negotiations have not begun over any potential move. Francisco Trincão has only just made his move to Barcelona official but the Catalans are already fending off offers for the young star according to Sport. The 20 year old Portuguese forward comes with a growing reputation and has no shortage of bids to take him on loan for the coming season. Rangers are still waiting to seal a permanent move for Haji according to Herald. The 21 year old son of Romanian great Josh Haji has made a big impression on Rangers fans since moving on loan to the club and the player's agent recently claimed a deal had been struck. The Glasgow side however deny making use of their purchase option as of yet and will take their time before committing to a transfer. Sergio Aguero will honor his contract at Manchester City says agent Hernan Reguera but the striker will see what happens after his deal expires in 2021. Reguera has told FC Inter News Sergio Aguero has a contract with Manchester City until 2021 and there is no chance of him leaving before that. Mino Raiola has started talks with Juventus regarding a return to Turin for Paul Pogba claims Latin Sport. The Manchester United is eager to hear what the Serie A giants have to say as he continues to mull over his options in England. Borussia Dortmund will be severing ties with Mario Götze when his contract expires in the summer, sporting director Michael Zork has confirmed. The World Cup winner is set to see his current deal with the Bundesliga giants come to a close at the end of the 2019-2020 campaign, meaning that he will drop in the free agent pool. Newcastle are preparing an ambitious bid for Bayern Munich centre-back Lucas Hernandez, Bild claims. The centre-back joined the German giants last summer in an 80 million euros deal and Bayern do not want to let him go but the Premier League side are expected to test their resolve with an offer. Paris Saint-Germain could join Chelsea, Barcelona and Athletic Madrid in the battle to sign Nicolas Tagliafico this summer. As reports, the French outfit have set their sights on Porto's Alex Telles but are reluctant to meet the Portuguese side's asking price which could see them turn to the Ajax fullback instead. Arturo Vidal does not want to leave Barcelona this summer, Mundo Deportivo claims. The Chilean midfielder is reportedly on his way out of Camp Nou as the Catalan side want to free up space in the squad. But like Arthur and Rakitic, Vidal is happy at Barcelona and does not want to leave just yet. 
Bayern Munich chairman Rummenigge revealed the Bundesliga champions have not activated the purchase option of Philippe Coutinho and the clause has now expired. The Brazil international arrived with the option to buy for 120 million euros, but Bayern have opted not to exercise the deal, though Rummenigge did not close the door on Coutinho. Manchester City, Paris Saint-Germain and Nancy Milan will be delighted to hear that Marseille are willing to lower their demands for Bubakar Kamara. The 20-year-old defender is wanted by the European giants following his stellar performances in Ligue 1. Marseille were said to be holding out for 90 million euros, but L'Equipe reports they have dropped their demands to 40 million euros. Manchester City fullback João Cancelo is set to join Barcelona in a swap deal that will see Nelson Smedu go the other way, Mundo Deportivo reports. Smedu is wanted by several top teams and City hope to convince the Catalan side to part ways with him because Pep Guardiola is a big fan and has not been convinced by Cancelo. Inter may have to give up on their pursuit of Federico Chiesa because Fiorentina's asking price is too high. The 22-year-old winger is one of the San Siro side's top transfer targets, but Calcio Mercato says La Viola are unlikely to drop their 70 million euros asking price, which may prove too high. Gonzalo Higuain says he would be open to finishing his career at boyhood club River Plate. The Argentine has been linked with a move to MLS in recent weeks as well, although he says he is not rushing to leave Juventus. Bayern Munich made an inquiry over Borussia Dortmund star Jadon Sancho before the coronavirus shutdown, ESPN reports. Sancho is said to be a hot commodity on the transfer market with Manchester United thought to be the favourites in the race to sign him, but United could have competition from the Bundesliga as Bayern once again eye one of their rivals top players. Leicester City are leading the chase for Liverpool midfielder Adam Lallana claims the Daily Star. Lalana is set to leave Anfield on a free transfer this summer and a host of clubs including West Ham, Everton, Arsenal and Crystal Palace are all chasing his signature, but the Foxes under Brendan Rodgers, who coached Lalana at Liverpool, are in front of the chasing pack. PSG have offered Inter 50 million euros plus 10 million euros in add-ons for striker Mauro Icardi according to Sky Sports. Icardi impressed on loan with PSG this season, scoring 20 goals in 28 appearances in all competitions after arriving in early September. The 27-year-old's loan included a 70 million euros option to purchase, but PSG are keen to negotiate that price down. Ian Vertonghen appears likely to leave Tottenham this summer, according to ESPN. The centre-back's contract in North London expires on June 30 and Spurs have been unwilling to meet his demands of a two-year deal on his current 78,000 a week salary. Arsenal and Chelsea are keeping an eye on Borussia Mönchengladbach fullback Keane Kirk claims the Sun. The 18-year-old has yet to make his senior debut for Mönchengladbach and has been featuring for the club's reserves this term. Kurt, a Germany youth international, can feature as a right winger or as a fullback on the left or right side. Everton and Newcastle are keen on a move for Napoli forward Herving Lozano, reports Corriero dello Sport. Lozano has failed to live up to expectations after becoming Napoli's most expensive signing last summer when he joined from PSV. Carlo Ancelotti, who signed the Mexico star at Napoli, is now in charge at Everton and is interested in a reunion. Rennes attacker Mbayan Young has revealed clubs in England and France are after his services for next season. It is flattering. There is no smoke without fire. There have been discussions, but today there is nothing concrete, Niang told Canal Football Club. In France, there are clubs that are sounding me out and are trying to get an idea of on what terms I would come. Abroad as well. In England, all the clubs are looking for strikers. And finally, to finish the second video of the day, Shanghai Shenhua have denied Manchester United's request to extend Odio Igalo's loan at Old Trafford, claims the Daily Mail. Igalo's initial loan deal is set to expire next week, and Shenhua have asked Igalo to return to China ahead of the start of the new Chinese Super League season. 
we're reaching the end of the second video of today guys so let's smash that like button for double upload today so let's try to hit 400 likes in the first video and in this second video so smash that like button that's really really important for me and for the channel leave a comment down below about the, the first one the first video this video about the transfer rumors and confirmations about other rumors and confirmations that i missed subscribe if you're new guys stay safe i'm default and i'll see you guys in the next video